Welcome back to our Hardcore Radical Red 4.1 Nuzlocke. With the flawless defeat of Giovanni, we can now push forward towards the infamous Sylph Co Gauntlet and start off strong with taking on our rival. Will his team of powerful mods be enough to take us down, or will our squad break through the very first battle of the Gauntlet? Find out right now. New Radical Red videos, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Fortunately, I got some stuff I gotta be doing in real life, and daily uploads was kinda taking a toll on me. So, gonna go back to three days a week. Sorry guys, I know some of you may be disappointed, but it's just that's how it's gonna be for a little bit. But regardless, enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, I appreciate all of you. Enjoy. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Aluba. We back at it, another Radical Red Vidya. Now, last episode, all right, we PB'd. All right, we did the PB. So give me two seconds. I'm just gonna close my door. All right, where was I? We, we PB'd, we beat Giovanni. Deathless, may I add. So everyone give yourself a pat in the back because you guys were all on the journey. You guys were all there with me. You know how like Naruto gets like all, all the people on his back, like all the people he's encountered and they're, you know, giving him his energy. Uh, that's you guys giving me the energy to beat Giovanni, right? To, to, to punch his teeth out. So, I appreciate you sending that energy. But uh, yeah, he looked, he kind of threw that fight with the Veluza. I was watching it over. And he kind of threw that fight. So, you know, Giovanni's kind of a trash can. But uh, I'm very happy we were able to manage to get out of that uh, pretty much scot-free. Right? We had a little bit of scary incidents, but it turned out all right. And that's at the end of the day, that's all we can really ask for. I really was prepared to sacrifice, um, you know what? It doesn't have a name. Our good old friend, uh, wh whatever his name is. Damn it. Um, um, Propopass. I was very prepared to sack Propopass, but I feel like Propopass deserves a name. And what better name than Keppa Jr.? Listen, Keppa wanted to be named after another encounter. So it's going to be Keppa Jr. Alright, it looks like Keppa too. So, but listen, the anger shell kind of popped off. Listen, this is a Mon that I don't want to, you know, corner away into the PC. Because it does have use cases. And it can be good if given the opportunity to, to show itself. So we're going to really try our best to keep him alive. And use him in battles where it is applicable. Uh, I was thinking of grabbing a TM, but I actually don't know if there are any TMs here I need to get. Maybe there are. We'll check it out just in case. But today, we are going to move forward in our journey. And we've got Sylphco. Now, we've got Sylphco coming up, which is the Gauntlet of Gauntlets. It contains the double battle. My least favorite fight in the game. Um, So, you know, that's going to be fun to prep for. I'm excited for that. But all in all, listen, it's going to be a good time. All right, it's going to be a good time. And I've been thinking a lot about it. And, you know, the, the sweet potential on Kid Piggy is something that really, I, I don't want to say has been neglected because I know about it. Listen, I've thought about it. But the bulk up speed boost strategy is something that should not go unforgotten. And it's something that should be taken advantage of to sweep future battles because i think he can really do it i think he could like i honestly think speed boost bulk up um kid piggy can sweep giovanni too if he gets a water move before then oh but we get level cap eh oh we get a new level cap right do you have any mons that need to evolve yet no we don't but we get a new level cap that's very exciting. So let's go ahead and put all of our teammates up to level cap. And it's a pretty sizable one too. Level 56. Um, that's a pretty big improvement. I have to say. Now if we're also talking about sweet potential. Um, I was also sleeping on. Uh, I mean listen. I would never sleep on Marius. But. With his other ability being. Um, Battle Force. And he gets Dragon Claw. Very cool. And he can learn Shadow Claw, right? So he has a very physical moveset. Now, the sweep that I'm thinking of is Weakness Policy Justified Marius. Because 
a lot of the guys have knockoff on the other team, right? A lot of them have knockoff. And what I'm thinking is that if I put weakness policy and I switch into what I know is going to be a knockoff, uh, then I can get to plus three and shadow sneak everything to the next existence. So I think that's definitely a strat that I have to consider in the future, right? It's something very, 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 very good. Belch. Interesting. Uh, no, I will not be belching today. Do you finally get a water move? God damn it. Uh, you do get close combat though, which is pretty good. But no physical attacking water move beyond Aqua Jet is just such a nerf. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, he's just, it's just such a, like, and I can't even relearn Liquidation anymore. It's so stupid. In my opinion, really dumb. Kind of one of the, I can't believe they got rid of Liquidation. It's just very stupid. Um, I don't know what I'm really looking for, but it's time for Alolan Marowak. Now, this mon is a little bit scary, but I think we'll be okay. Because, lest we forget, Huge Power Scrafty is on the team. Lest we forget, alright? No one, no one better be forgetting. No one better be forgetting. Because Huge Power Scrafty has moves to make. And he's also another incredible mon that we have at our disposal. So let's go ahead and level him up to the level cap. Uh, make him adamant. And then we can do a quick calc or two. Just to confirm that he will indeed one-shot him with a knockoff. Honestly, knockoff is probably preferable to get rid of that good old Gabagool bone club of his. But if we do a little bit of this... And a little bit of this, you can see our Alolan Marowak. Now, he gets an Omni Boost, right? So, all of his stats go up. Which sucks. But, I want to say that a knockoff from Scrafty, uh, barring that I am faster, Scrafty, right? Level 56, Adamant, um... Huge power. The hugest of power. Dude, his power is massive. His power is massive. I can even go black glasses. Knock off against the Marrow. Omni boosted. Um, is there an option for Omni? Um, no, but he's plus one speed. One rank does hurt. He's plus one attack, but I live... Shadow Bone. Why is it saying Bone Meringue is his best move when Shadow Bone does way more to me? Uh, that's very, that's very odd. Okay, but I'm adamant. Omni boosted, plus one defense. What is a knockoff doing? Only seventy-five to eighty-five. Hmm. I'm not going to outspeed. What about Crunch? Is Crunch just going to KO? And if I put Black Glasses, will it KO? Because honestly, I really hate risking this thing. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. How does a knockoff do more? Oh, because he has the item. Okay, so knockoff is going to be our best thing. Plus the Black Glasses, maybe? Uh, is not enough to take him out. But we survive any move that he has. So it really does not matter. Does not matter. It's got Bone Meringue, Shadow Bone, which for some reason is not saying that it is the... Like, it's weird, right? It does 79 to 93, but it's not saying that it's... That it's the best move. It's saying Bone Meringue is his best move. Very odd. Very, very odd. Um, is this just plus one all stats? Yeah, it's plus one all stats. Okay. So, Bone Meringue seems to be his best move. But I live anything. Because I'm better. So, we're just going to do this. Uh, I feel confident. I don't like that I'm risking my boy here. But, I think it's what we have to do. Because if not, we could lose a lot of other mods. Uh, just in case, though, I'm gonna put the Ghost Berry on you, I would say. Or no, if he's going for Bone Meringue, maybe I just put Air Balloon on you. Let's do that. Let's go put the Air Balloon on you. 
the air balloon. Uh, Scrafty, just make sure you are adamant knockoff, I would say. Actually, I can run you plus defense since I never one shot. So I can do. Well, because I gotta do plus defense and then I gotta switch into something. So then I would switch into Golden Piggy. That feels kind of bad though, no? Maybe I'd switch into Kid Piggy and then I'd go for Aqua Jet. Um, what is Urshifu? Because I don't think he'd ever go for Thunder Punch against Scrafty, but if I'm Urshifu, Rapid Strike, 56. Thunder Punch does KO me, so just in case for whatever reason he does that, let's put the Electric Berry. Let's put the Wakan Berry on you. But I think that's going to be it. Honestly, Garatine could probably take this too, but... Go into you. Uh, you survive any move that isn't uh, Thunder Punch. And then I'll be sure to teach you Aqua Jet. We go Protect, Aqua Jet, and that is just what's going to happen there. Uh, over bulk up for now. Protect to get the speed boost, so I outspeed him. I outspeed him anyways, even at the Omni Boost, so we're fine. We're good. Never worried, guys. Calm down. But listen, this run is for real. Alright, so I would really hate to lose any Mon in this situation right now. Any Mon, I do not want to lose it. So, knowing that, why don't we put some team members that can kind of just be there for us in our time of need. Uh, I'd say Giratina is pretty strong here, but I think I'd rather... No, I'll just keep Giratina. Alright, let's just run it. Let's stop dilly-dallying. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the dilly-daddle. Dilly-dilly-dilly-daddle. Alright, but sometimes you just gotta be extra sure, right? If you're ever thinking about things, you're like, damn, dude, I don't know. Just make sure you're extra sure, all right? Especially for big decisions. Consult a friend. Consult a loved one. All right, just make sure whatever decision you do, you're doing it with confidence. Or else, what's the point? What is the point? Confidence is key. That's what they say. Uh, natural bulk up is pretty W. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you're good. All right, let's just run it. Let's go up the tower. We've already done a decent amount of these fights, so I'm not super worried. Um, did we catch a Pokemon? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was not the way I was supposed to go. Let's quickly just do these fights. Download is crazy. Actually crazy. Uh, I'll grab the Sableite. Why not? And then I'll make my way up down and around all these shamans shamans of the ghost tower and then we get to fight the vengeful spirit of marowak it's very sad you know one of the darker things in pokemon that they've added but i guess just because it was so i mean in comparison to the other games this is what over how many years ago was fire red made 2000 is it 2003 jesus that's old, man. But listen, the game is still going strong, and that's what I love about Pokemon. Regardless, the game is going strong, and people are still playing it. People are still playing Fire Red. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, go right into PK. Okay. Uh, Fire Punch? Can we not do this right now, Hunchcrow? I'm just not in the mood. Thank you. I appreciate that. And here we go. It's time to see if this works out for us. It's time to see. Honestly, I kind of want to put the air balloon on you. Because Bomerang is your best move. Uh, actually, no. I'm putting black glasses just to make sure I put you in range. Because I know Aqua Jet will KO. Uh, probably. Not... Uh, Shadow Sneak would be preferable, so let's put that on you. Even if you're modest, it should still kill. Because I am a Giratina, and I am strong. Oh, I'm scared! I'm actually scared. Let's do it. Ugh. Just don't have, like, Simple or something, because that would actually end our run. I'm not even kidding. Let's see. Please don't have Simple. Layer to Life. Okay, it just rose. Not anything dramatic. 
Uh, and nothing else there. Going for the fire punch. <sighs> Ugh, burn would have been really bad there as well. Okay, Thick Club is gone. He's going for any single move. So we go... Uh, I gave you the Wakan Berry. So right into Kid Piggy. Goes for a fire punch. I obviously eat that. And an Aqua Jet will do you in. See, you know what? You just got to prepare a little bit. You know, even if it is super easy and it finishes in two seconds, you got to prepare just a little bit. Oh, I should probably hurry up though. <laughs> it's already like 14 minutes into the episode. Um, Let's go Golden Pig. Let us go Golden Pig. Yeah, I think I took maybe took too long preparing for this. Gonna be honest. Alright, we're doing this today. We're doing this today. Uh, let's go Dragon Darts. You're dead. Dragon Darts. You're dead. Golden Piggy, another crazy Pokemon on our team. Dragapult is just so strong. So unbelievably strong. Uh, this thing might have a Roar Beam. I don't want to risk that. Let's go right into Marius. I'll get going on these good old, uh... Try right to sketch me, you son of a gun. Get this guy out of here. Who are you talking to like that? You, you don't sketch Marius. Marius sketches you. And goes right into Mantike. A very cool form. I like this form. Oh, he goes into a fairy type, doesn't he? You are not smart, man. Alright, you're just you're just evading the inevitable. Alright, it's gonna happen. Just let it happen, my friend. E Gleam, uh neutral. Or actually resist that. I actually forget. Oh, watch he goes into a flash fire mon. Just how dumb this game is, dude. Ow. Parting shot? It's just how dumb this game is. Like, they just know everything. Like, in what universe... In what universe am I actually going into a, uh... Like, in what universe is a Lolan Muck hitting you with a fire move? Right? No, the game just cheats. That's just how it works. The game literally just cheats. So, nothing you can really do about it. Nothing you can really do about it. Alright, Dazzling Gleam is going to come my way, though. And that is kind of scary for my entire team. Uh, but Mars takes one. I know he does. He is he is a Giratina. And Psychic should be able to do the one. Alright, nice. Big crit. Didn't matter. Mante comes back. Another Psychic. Dude, Marius is just so strong, man. If we can actually get that weakness policy strat going, he's just going to sweep so many battles. Like, genuinely, he's going to sweep so many battles. And I mean that genuinely. Like, I'm not even lying. I'm, I wouldn't even lie about that. So, wonderful. We get the Pokey Flute from Mr. Fuji. I would say, just to be good people, let's go and get our things as well. And by things, I mean... Let's go get our... Did I not get the item? No, I did Let's go get, let's go get, let's go get, let's go get, let's go get it, let, let's go get it. Uh, leftovers. That item. Because that's going to be a very useful item for things. Uh, let's go for Million City. Now, I believe I took the item finder. If not, we're going to find out pretty soon. Actually, I might as well just find out right now. No, I did not, because I'm not smart. I'm not smart at the game, guys. I'm just not smart. Dude, how is it 17 minutes already? It makes no sense. Alright, let's hit the Poke Flute. Let's talk to this man right here. Now, I'm not counting this as a static Pokemon, because I... Actually, I could. I actually could. This could be my Route 12 static. I actually am doing that. I, I absolutely am doing that. Ow. Jesus. Um, let's go with Marius. This thing is the catch rate of God himself. Jesus. Levani! Wonderful. I didn't really think of that. But I guess that is... That is gonna be a static for Route 12. Um... I'm gonna decide on your name a little later. I haven't thought about it yet. Uh, I wonder if because I caught it, it's not gonna work. No, it does work. Picked up our good old leftovers. Let's actually check that you got the leftovers. No, you didn't. Slush Rush, cool. Uh, but we can go ahead and kill the other one for his leftovers. Three leftovers should be all I need, so I'm not really worried about it. Let's go here. Play the flute. Good old, a good old tune. And go for Thief. 
Go for X Scissor, that is fine. And then I would say, let's take you out the game, my friend, with Mr. Stevens. Just trying to push ahead in this run. Listen, there's going to be episodes where it's not going to be all fight, 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 right? It's going to be building. Building the team we need to win. And that's going to start right now. What is wrong with me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my Jesus. What What's wrong with me? Ugh. I want to save just in case this means I'm going to crash. Oh, my God. Yeah, a little crazy. Oh, I'm back. All right. Let's start prepping, shall we? Now it is Silphco time. Undoubtedly, time for Silphco. Uh, which is three fights that are uber difficult. Three, three fights. Right? Um, now, before we do anything, actually, I actually need to check what our rival is, because I genuinely do not remember. So let's head back to um, to Pallet Town, as they say, and let's check. So, uh, our rival is the Venusaur team. Honestly, out of all the teams, I prefer that one a lot. So, that is cool with me. Just because we know how to counter Venusaur. Uh, I actually forget how exactly we did it. But I know. I know. So, what are we thinking? Staraptor, Azumarill, King Gambit, Darmanitan, and a Venusaur. So, let's go ahead and sideline everyone. Just for a little bit. Excuse me. Now, there are certain things that I do know from this fight uh, because I've done it a decent amount and I know that I will outspeed right and these things are um, that Urshifu can one shot the King Gambit with close combat regardless of his chop ability so Urshifu is definitely going to be on the team right there's no doubt about it now another one I actually do want to check is you because if you can learn your signature ability our options for electric types uh, are not many Simply because our other ones are rats. They're stupid rats. Uh, which includes, well, rest in peace, Mr. Pikachu. Uh, you died for our sins. And I appreciate that. Uh, but we also have a Pachirisu. And we only gets Discharge. Dude, this guy sucks, man. When did we get Bullbeak? It's your signature move. You should have it. That makes no sense. Um, okay, well, Staraptor, I guess that's not really going to work. Um, what else am I thinking? Could go... Could go Marius, right? I don't believe you're base 100. Yeah, you're not. I mean, I resist close, close combat. I'm bulky. Um, there's not a lot of opportunities for weakness policy justified. So, I could do that. We could lead Marius for this guy. Which I don't feel like is a bad strategy. Because what? I mean, unless this thing kills it i just i doubt it but why don't we, we can check i don't really want to bring a bulgo to this fight though i mean actually it's not terrible it's not terrible right parting shot it's not bad i go emolga right no way i'm bringing an actual rat to this fight 56 modest star raptor Rival Charmander? Uh, Braver definitely kills me. Uh, not all plus one in stats. I'd have to go Timid. And I actually don't know what you learn. Dude. I, I knew I wanted to use this guy. I just didn't think it'd be right now. But let's, let's check what he's got. Why not? Let's throw him a bone here. Let's throw this rat a bone. Or squirrel, I guess. Let's throw the squirrel a bone. Let's throw it a bone. So what do you got, my friend? For doing things. What do you got? You've got discharge. Is that gonna be enough? So recorded this on the day of the eclipse. Kinda cool. Kinda cool. Um, it is going to be enough. So we actually could lead this guy. Not a bad play. Really not a bad play at all. So we could go Emolga. We could go, we could go Timid Emolga. 
and you'll be able to parting shot because I don't think anything else is faster, right? Uh, 137, I outspeed the Darmanitan as well. So, as long as I make you timid, it's kind of fire. Now, I feel like I'm, I feel like you kind of deserve an aim. Uh, but we'll hold off on that for now. So, I guess that's going to be my Staraptor answer, which is not, not bad at all. Uh, the faster the user is than the foe. Okay, that's not really a matter. Uh, so let's go Volt Switch instead of Poison Gas. And then... I don't really... I think that's all you really need, right? So that's fine. So that's my Emolga Destroyer. What is going to take down this Azumarill? Uh, I wish I had something that was like Water Absorb. But I don't think we really have that luxury. Um... I think, well, okay. For King Gambit, we already have an answer. Darmanitan will need to find an answer. For Venusaur, it's just going to be Ice Toad, right? Did it in the first gym. We go, um... Safety Goggles, Ice Toad. And that really should just be all she wrote, right? If you think about it. Uh, Safety Goggles, Toad. Right, that's going to be the answer. For sure. So, that's fine. Now we just need an Azumarill and a Darmanitan answer. Now, Darmanitan, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, U-Turn, Earthquake, pretty insane. It's an insane mod. Like, this Darmanitan is definitely, in my opinion, feels like the scariest thing on the board. Um, I don't believe I have any Levitators. Earthquake is going to hurt really bad. Especially Sheer Force Life Orb, like, it's going to hurt. 100%. So what can I do? I do against this thing, man? This thing kind of walls me for days, dude. Kind of walls me. At, like, what's my highest defense, Mon? Uh, you're weak to the earthquake. You're not bad. 95. It's not terrible. Also, let's check your other abilities. Why not, right? We're here. Yeah, the Darmanitan is definitely an issue. Honestly, I, I think this is going to be my, uh... I think I have to I think I have to use my Giratina slot on you for sure. Oh, for sure I have to use my Giratina slot. There's no doubt. So yeah, we'll go Giratina for you. That makes sense. So you have Slush Rush and Swift Swim. That's kind of funny. Uh what is your hidden ability? Harvest. I will take that. Way 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 better. A, a, a weather monster right here though. Actual weather monster. The harvest is pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's definitely my Giratina answer is just going to be the Darmanitan. And we can calc it. Darmanitan. Darmana man. Uh, if I do this. Level 56. No, not Darmanitan. Sorry. Giratina. Level 56 against the Darm. Um, Flare Blitz does a decent... Does about 25.8 to 30.6. Which is absolutely fine. And then I can go for an Earth Power on you. So we're going to go special. You already are special. Listen, Marius is special in my heart. But you're a special attacker. So that's really all we need to see. Um, Psychic. I don't really see the point. Or Sphere has point. Well, Psychic for the Venusaur isn't bad. Uh, I don't need this. Thunderbolt is good for the Azumarill. Or Sphere is good for the King Gambit. Earth Power is good for the Dimanitan. Thunderbolt is also good for the Staraptor. This gives me full coverage for the entire team. Which I am a big fan of. So, that is going to do that. We go... Modest. Fatal Precision. I don't see the point in running Justify Weakness Policy here. Just because we don't really need an attack buff. We need a special attack buff. If I do that, what if I go into Shadow Sneak? Is that enough to KO? It is. Ooh. If I bring Shadow Sneak, that is enough. That is enough. So what do I feel like I don't need here? Um, Honestly, I don't see a point where I would ever really need to Aura Sphere. Solely because I know that a close combat from Urshifu takes him out. So we'll get rid of Aura Sphere here. And that is our Dimanitan answer. Not actually as scary as I thought it was going to be actually at all not scary at all i could even run you i could even run you just bold 
Uh, that's... Well, it's a roll, actually. There's a very small chance that I don't KO. So, we're gonna just run you modest, then. Just to make sure I get that KO. You no, know, dude, I wanna do the fight in this episode. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna calc. I'll probably pause to go watch the eclipse that's happening in, like, a few minutes. And then I'm gonna come back. But what, do I have an answer for this Azumarill? Azumarill answer. Who's it gonna be? Um... I don't think physically bulky, ideally immune to water. I don't think I have that luxury. Uh, you're Moxie, you're base 100. Player up is gonna I don't really have anything to do. Do you? Uh, I would need electric or like poison. You kind of resist, but your poison isn't as good as your special defense. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna come back. All right, I'm gonna pause the recording, come back with a strat. I'm gonna go watch the eclipse because it's super cool and stuff, so. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, wow, that eclipse was pretty neat, man. Pretty cool. Saw the whole thing. Well, I didn't see it. Then look at it. Looked at it a little bit. But pretty cool event. I'm gonna be dead the next time I get to experience something like that. So will all of you. Kind of morbid. Um, I just dropped one of my Smarties. I'm gonna pick that up. Kind of morbid, but yeah. All of us will be dead when uh, the next time something like that ever happens. So ponder that for a little bit, why don't you? However, something else, speaking of pondering, was that I feel like Roserade actually does pretty decent here. Um, It's got no defense, which scares me. However, if I go Rose... Wait, what are you? Are you Roserade or Roselia? Roserade. Roserade, level 56 against this Azu, Marill. Um, okay, it's not in this here, whatever. Uh, level 53, huge power. Its power is huge and mighty. Um, let's see, Mystic Water. You know what, this might not even be the play. But I'm thinking this is the best opportunity I got. So he's got Liquidation, obviously, because he's a cheater. Well, why can't I get Liquidation on my Urchifu? He deserves li Liquidation. He deserves to Liquidate. Ice Punch. Is that just killing me straight up? It isn't. Really? Huh. Whoa. 53-2. So, Ice Punch is a lot. But if I'm modest, Hadron Engine, Giga Drain, oh, I kill him. Okay, so here's what we do. Am I faster than this thing as well? And I am faster. Okay, so here's what we do. Um, I go Yachi Berry. And that's going to be our answer. Pretty, pretty simple. It's literally just that's what that's gonna be what happens. Yachi Berry on Usato. <coughs> on Usato. And we set up the electric terrain, which doesn't really have any benefits to us, but it's not bad either. So I'm gonna set you to level cap. And Giga Drain with the Hadron Engine at Modest will just one shot this Azumarill. Because it has what? Got 80 special defense. But I'm strong. I'm a Roserade, man. I'm big, strong, and tonky. Alright, the defense is kind of bad, but with the Yachi, I eat any water move. And I outspeed and kill. So this is always the play. So what else do we get? Ancient mm -mm -mm. power, no point. Okay, your moves are kind of dookie sauce, but like... That's alright. Let's go ahead and teach you Giga Drain. Wherever it may be. Knockoff is interesting. Um, Giga Drain, Giga Drain. Uh, U-Turn is also interesting. But uh, probably not. Giga, uh, you learned Dazzling Gleam. I like that, if need be. Uh, oh, here he has Giga Drain, that's why. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you have Leech Seed as well, Psychic Noise, Scorching Sands, Vacuum Wave, Play Rough. Anything else you want to learn for the one time, my friend? Or... 
mean, I know Energy Ball obviously is going to do the most, but it's resisted against literally everything else, so it quite honestly doesn't really matter. Uh, you have one job here, and that is literally just to deal with this Azumarill, and that is perfectly fine with me. Perfectly fine with me. I also have Thunderbolt on Emolka. So, forget Discharge, we're just going to go Thunderbolt. It's just better. Um... Don't really need... I can go for... I guess I can go Protect on you as well. And I can go Protect on Usto over Leech Sleet, I, I would say. So I think that is the core members of this team. We can talk items in a second. But if I were to bring one more Mon, who would it be? One more consistent Mon who does well against pretty much anyone here. Um... Rock Rock is decent. You're not bad. Oh no, I thought you were with my other one. Dude, I have two runs going. One on stream and one obviously right here. And they're kind of melding together. I mean, it's just going to be Golden Piggy, right? It's just going to be Golden Piggy. Once again, the, the father-child duo goes pretty crazy here. Pretty crazy. I think we're going to go ahead and give you uh what is your other ability by the way? I have it open. Emolga, magic bounce, and that is it. I guess the rest were so useless it did not matter. So, what are we thinking? I guess just giving you like the magnet or just giving you citrus berry. I'll just give you the citrus berry. Why not? When in doubt, citrus it out. So we'll go citrus berry on you. Now let's confirm that Urshifu, Rapid Strike, 56, Adamant against the King Gambit. Uh, Charmander, that a close combat does kill you. Even with Chopple, because I'm pretty sure it does. It does indeed. No Chopple, 56, he's gone. Um, so we gotta learn that, obviously, because if not, he ain't dying. I would say over Brick Break. Protect is fine to have. Um, and then maybe, like, I, I, I don't really see Bulk Up coming into play here at any point. So why don't I just teach you, like, Thunder Punch, just in case for whatever reason... This Azumarill gets out of hand. Actually, I don't feel like you're the Mon that's going to get out of hand. If anything, it's going to be that uh, Darmanitan. Um, so maybe I just put Aqua Jet back on you. Let's call it a day. Stab Aqua Jet, right? Seems to be the play to me. Over Thief. That's fine. U-turn is going to be good if I need it. Uh, with Speed Boost, it's pretty strong. And Protect is going to be Mainstay. So, Emolga moveset is perfect. Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Parting Shot, wonderful. You, you are perfect as you are. You do not need the Wakan Berry. And honestly, because I'm also going Protect, a... What's it called? Leftovers is definitely just going to be the play. Ice Toad, Safety Goggles, Ice Beam is truly all you are going to need. And I'm also going to make you... No, I'll just keep you modest. It makes sense. Marius... Uh, is Citrus Berry what I want? I believe so. I think Citrus Berry... Because I'm not... Yeah. I think Citrus Berry is overall going to be better. Because I am going to have to take... No, I only take one hit. Citrus Berry is going to be better. It is going to be better. I think overall. So, we'll go Citrus Berry, and then leaving you modest is perfectly fine. Uh, Usato, I want you to be modest. You have Yachi Berry, you have Sludge, Dazzling Gleam, Giga Drain, Protect, which is perfectly fine. And then Golden Piggy, honestly, I kind of just want to give you the Muscle Band so you just do a ton of damage when you need to. So why don't we do that? And then after that, I think we're gonna, I think, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and switch back to our scenes. Uh, I'm doing another long video. And I'm going to change the layout because I want to when this is a monumental occasion. I'll be right back. Alrighty. And that is the team. That is the team. 
You know what? You deserve a nickname. Let's name you... Let's name you the support. You are the support of the century. Right? That is what you do. Now, I want to check one last thing, just because, uh... I did come back from watching the solar eclipse for like an hour. So I just want to make sure that I do one shot this star after 100% with a uh, timid thunderbolt, thunderbolt em ups, and I do no item, wonderful. So that is perfect. Let's do it. Let's run it up. I got my big boy behind me. I got the homie, Kid Piggy, in the flesh. Uh, I would say let's lead Dragapult. Let's also change some of your moves, and by some of them, I'm literally just going to add Protect, I think. Mm, that feels like what I want to do. Just adding Protect is what I'm going to do, instead of Wisp. So let's go ahead and do that, and let's run it. Silph-Co time, baby. Time for the Silph-Co. Alright, this is the scary building. And next episode, we're going to be doing the Double Battle and Giovanni, which scares me a ton. Alright, it terrifies me even. Uh, no, I gotta go floor five. It, it terrifies me, if I'm being honest. So, don't look at me. Thank you. We go in. We go out. We go boom. You're gonna look at me, but we're gonna speed through this battle, because I just can't be asked. Okay, big leech seed. I am the muscle band, though, so everything is gonna hurt a lot, because I'm a dragapult, alright? And I'm different. Listen, Golden Piggy is a monster. A monster that the world has not yet seen yet. Let's go by you. Hit the teleporter. Clean strats. Alright, we're taking no chances. And we get an encounter after this. Okay, that's toxic. That's actually toxic. That is so toxic. Um, going to Marius. Oh, he's tormenting me. You are actually tormenting me. And I mean that. Um, why is ground not super effective against ice? That's the question. That's the question I'm asking. Icicle Crash. Ow. Earth Power. Thank you. What else he got? Big ol' Smeargle. Let's go for a Psychic. He sketched Psychic. Or he sketched Earth Power. Uh, you are a normal type. I don't really want to deal with this right now. Go right into Ice Toad. Wonderful. Ice Beam. Get him gone. I just want to fight the rival, so please get out of my way. That's my take on a horrendous British accent. Alright, it is time. Let's save up. Let's make sure our lead is what it should be, being this Emolga with a citrus berry. And it's time. Let's do it, rival. I believe this is a, a, a Trizzy Giovanni clone. Let's run it, baby. Let's run it. Alright, I'm not worried. Alright, Rival is easy. I shouldn't have said that. I, we got it. Trust. Trust in the trust in me that believes in me. Alright, trust in the you that believes in me. That's all I'm saying. Thunderbolt. God damn it. Goes right into Venusaur. But this is fine. Because he goes for Sleep Powder here every single time. So this is a free parting shot. Having this move, he doesn't normally get this move, but we ha we ha we hatched him in an egg, and he had parting shot. And I'm gonna abuse it, all right? Because I do what I want on this channel, all right? I do what I want, simply. So I'm abusing it. I don't care. Oh, it's not part of the base game. He doesn't actually get that move. Shut your mouth, all right? Shut your mouth. Now he's going for sleep powder here, 100%. There's no way he goes for any other move. Okay, I don't know how to play the game, but that's fine. Ice Beam it up. He goes right into the Mana 10, doesn't he? Oh, into the Azumarill. Okay. Uh, interesting. So this is going to be... This is probably going to be anything but Ice Punch, which is great, because then that means it's free into Usato. It's free into our Roserade. Because it's probably going to be Play Rough, or it's going to be um, the other thing. A Water Move. And I eat this. I eat that. Okay, that's really bad. Oh, that's bad. 
Oh, that's bad. No, wait, I outspeed and kill it. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. See, so yeah, I got you guys. I got you guys. I even got myself. I started to open up the calcs. I got you. Everyone relax. Everyone calm down. Calm down! Alright, I got it locked. Alright, I got it settled too. Everyone chill out. Okay, Intimidate is coming. Um, let's protect to scout. Um, obviously it's gonna be a brave bird. I don't even know why I need to scout that, but that is what it is. Um Does a Bulga live a brave bird? <laughs> It does indeed. So every time we go into a Mulga. Run into support. The hard carry. The greatest to ever do it. Emulga, right here. Boom. Watch me eat this. Eat it up. Alright, we ate that up. Thunderbolt, does he switch again? He does. So he's gonna keep whittling away at our Emulga, but this Venusaur is also getting whittled. I'm literally whittling him. Whittably. Paralysis? Ah, that's unfortunate. Uh, but once again, the play is always Parting Shot. Because he's going to do a lot less damage. Minus one, by the way. Minus one. In both attack and special attack. What a great move, man. It's such an incredible move. And we can go freely into Ice Toad off of the Sludge Bomb. Now, as long as he doesn't get a Poison, we'll be okay here. And I'm looking in the camera as I say that. Because obviously, as soon as I speak things, they become a reality. Well, I live another, so I gotta go straight for the Ice Beam. Which does not do enough. Sludge Bomb. Oh, crap. Well, then, our answer is always to go into Golden Piggy and to one-shot him. I have to do it. I know I live one. Okay, interesting. Uh, interesting tech. Interesting tech for sure. Now, he goes for a knockoff here, for sure. Um, how many mons did I kill? L? Which one's L? I killed one mon. So his Supreme Overlord isn't going to be too strong just yet. And I'm free... Actually, wait, he has a Sucker Punch, right? I think it's just go right into Kid Piggy, for sure. Uh, I'm not even going to risk it. Knock off, comes out, I live it, he gets rid of my leftovers, unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Um, and I just go for a close combat. Chopple or not? Chopple or not, you're cooked, watch. Look at my boy Cook right here. That's someone's kid! That's someone's kid! Hell yeah it is. Hell yeah that's someone's kid. That's Golden Piggy's kid. Even more so. Golden Piggy the goat. The genuine goat. So he's going to go for an Intimidate. I am plus one and about to be plus two, which means that I will be allowed to outspeed this thing for sure. I'm not even going to calculate because I'm so confident that a plus two pit Kid Piggy is going to outspeed him. I'm going to go for U-turn, right? Chip is chip at the end of the day. Chip is chip. And we go right into support who lives another Brave Bird because he's different. Oh, he's got quick attack though. He does have quick attack. Hold on. Good thing I remember that. I'm at 31% quick attack. Oh my god, it has a chance to kill. Okay. I am at 31%. The calcs say the highest amount of damage he can do is 31.2%. I like those odds. He doesn't even go for it because he's bad. Get him out of here, man. I don't even want to see his stupid face. I don't even want to see his stupid face. Support putting in the work! So much work is happening right now. And I get to put this guy at minus one. Dude, parting shot Emolga. I knew it was going to be broken, but I didn't think it would have this much, like, usability. This is insane. Right into Marius. Who goes for a rock slide. Which does little peanuts to me. Earth power. Watch. Mars is so strong. Peanuts! Look at these peanuts! 
Oh, yeah, and he's gone, too. Oh, my lord. This guy does nothing to me. Psychic. Get him out. Get out of here, man. He's talking to the big dog. He's talking to the big dog. He doesn't know who he's talking to. Rival battle defeated. Finished. Dunzo. Gone. Destroyed. It only took me 50 minutes to do it. Again. Great job. Let's go ahead and save. And let's get our Silph Co encounter right here. What is it going to be? Show us something insane. Show us something insane. Torkoal. Oh, Torkoal. Calling you Gary. Calling you Gary. Um, now, I don't want to sleep on Torkoal. Because a, a, a time ago, I had a Torkoal with rough skin. And it did so much work for us. This one has Sand Force. I'm checking his ability right now. Alright, I could, I could edge everyone and not check it. But I'm not a monster, alright? I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a monster. Let's go ahead, heal up the team. They did incredible work. And next episode, which I think I'm going to record this back to back... We, we gotta prepare for the double battle, which might even take an episode in itself. I don't like doing these long, long episodes. I just do them because I, I don't know, I feel like it. <laughs> okay, Grimnay, interesting. And Dream Patch, what do you got? Blazing Soul. Actually better. That is actually better. Priority on fire moves at full HP. Insane. Okay, well that is that episode. Um, Great job. Emolga showing its prowess with Parting Shot. So... That's going to be used a lot more often. All right, don't sleep on that. All right, team. Peace out.